understood. Fake by one, two, eight, angels, point five. For this leader, one round it down. Hello, welcome on my new video. I show you final part of build of this kit from Eduard, it's Tempest MK5 in Royal Class Edition. I have used all accessories which are available from Eduard for this kit. This video is focused on final part of build of this kit. I show you how can you work with Eduard decals, with AGV transfers and final pattern of the kit. I have used only stencils from AGV. As you can see the work with AGV transfers is same as with decals. You are playing the transfer on the kit, then you let it dry it. I have waited 48 hours and then I have removed cover lock from the transfers. But don't forget, before you apply the transfer on the kit, you must to apply a drop of Kunze setter. Then I have started with decals. First time you put the decals to the water, you apply a drop of setter, you put the decal on the kit. You must dry it, then you apply a layer of Gunza Softer after 30 seconds and then you dry the decal. As you can see on the Tempest is a lot of positive rivets. In this part you have to work with the decals a little bit carefully. But you have no problems with the decals. Because of positive riveting, you have to press the decals on the surface a little bit stronger. There is no problem with transparency of the decals on the surface. The decal colors are realistic. And then you can take a tooth stick and make the riveting more visible. In the final process of this step, you can do dry brush with silver color. When I was ready with decals, I have oversprayed the decals with flat like from Gunze. I have sprayed a really tiny layer of luck. For me it's really good to unify the difference between gloss of surface and decals. Because of pattern of the kit, I have all sprayed the whole surface of the kit with gloss lac from Gunze. Then I started with a plank of wash. Sometimes I'm using airbrush, sometimes I'm using only brush. I have used all colors, wash from Mick, wash from Gunze. I'm always using a mix of colors. Because if you want to do really good effect of paint lines, you have to always use more colors. You can use shades of grey, brown and white, but always depends on the type of plane. When you are using more colors, that effect is more plastic. I like it, because that's the goal. Because after all, we want to get closer to reality.
Especially here I have used only oil colors for effect of soil. I'm applying only small quantity of oil color on the surface. And then I'm brushing away in the flight of direction. I'm using chrome pen from Molotov. I'm applying the wash with brush. For me it's better. You have always control over the effect. And you can easily correct the intensity of the wash. When you look on the real airplanes with dural surface, you can see the paint lines are in different shades. And now I'm speaking only about paint lines, not about the painters. You have absolutely different shades on top of the plane and bottom of the plane. For top of the plane I have used shades of light brown and light grey. I have used light shades of washes and you can see how intensive the effect is. Ok, ok, with this I should be satisfied. But you can also see how perfect the riveting is done. For the cowling and engine I'm using only dark shades of washes. For post weathering effect I'm using white spirit. The knife started with bottom of the plane. You can see how smoothly I'm using the wash. For effect of soil from engine I have used simply all colors. As you can see I'm using the wash really carefully. And now we have a final assembly of the kit. I have used resin wheels from Edward. And I have also used this amazing gun base with 20mm Hispano. I must say the wall installation of gun base fit the wing perfectly. Because of weight I have used brass blending gear legs. You can see this perfect and lovely look of the brass and wheels.
For realistic rendering of the canons, I have used canon barrels from Buster. And now we have final presentation of the kit. I hope you like my video. Please like, share and subscribe. Many thanks for watching and see you next time by next video soon. Enjoy the photos and thank you.